Hello, and welcome back to From the Depths with Good Storms Games. I'm going to go through some sale stuff, since I saw a Borderwise video. Uh, him making a sail ship with lasers. I've been doing a lot of sail work. Uh, I'm going to start with some failed designs. This is the sailback turtle, which is supposed to be like a leatherback turtle, but with sails. Uh, it's slow, if you haven't noticed, even with all these sails on it. And it has nothing to do with it being heavy. It has to do with the angle of attack, I guess, in a sense, uh, to do with these sails. So sails work best in the vertical orientation. Having them horizontal like this does not work at all. It, you can tell by, you see these little green lines? That's the amount of like thrust you're getting from the sail, right? The middle one you see is this big, giant, long line, right? And it just keeps going and going and going because it does a percentage. So these lines are a percentage amount of thrust depending on the amount of parts you have. So it kind of just gives you a visual representation of which ones are giving you the most thrust at any given time. And you can tell these tiny little ones give you basically nothing because for one, uh, they're at this weird angle like this. They're almost horizontal. If they were perfectly horizontal, these would do absolutely nothing. It actually would be just, it'd just be extra drag on your, your craft, basically, not even. Um, so those are pretty much pointless, uh, having horizontal uh, sails like that. So this was a failed concept, basically. You can tell by these sails in the water, they have basically no thrust because they're basically vertical. I mean horizontal, sorry. And let's uh, stop building. Let's, whoops. There we go. We're gonna get in here. Let's load a different vehicle in. Or destroy a sail back there. Load another vehicle in. Uh, that's the sail back. Anyway, let's go into sail only neater. You can see I have a lot of, a lot of different builds. Some of them aren't finished. Uh, and there's a bunch of failed stuff in here that's not particularly useful. You need some speed. You want to get like 20 kilometers per second, even during a, like going in, into a headwind, which is a wind coming towards you. Um, but yeah, let's go with the sail. Okay, this is the most recent one I built. Uh, whoops. Let's just warp. There we go. We're gonna freeze this here. There we go. This is the... I built this just kind of as an example of things you can do. It has some RTGs in it. Uh, sail ships with lasers, greatest thing to do is to just put a bunch of batteries in and have a bunch of radio thermal electric generators because your ship is going to keep recharging these batteries the entire time you're out, out of combat. So you just need a big enough storage of energy for, to power the lasers. So you don't even need any kind of resource on these ships. I mean, a little bit of resource so you can repair the ship during battle is a good idea. But they're not necessarily needed in order for them to run. Um, yeah, this thing, as you can tell down there, it has a couple thousand power. It's not using basically any of it. It just spawned in. So if we unpause it, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll warp to it. Yep, okay. So if we unpause it, it's going to charge up the lasers, and you're going to notice as they get charged, it stops using engine power, and then your engine power is going to just continue going up, right? So that's the nice thing about these ships. I'm just going to do this. There we go. Nope. Tap. There we go. Oh, we're following it. Uh, this has the kind of something that you shouldn't do with certain sailboats. Sailboats work much better with broadside weapons instead of turrets. Because for the most part, turrets get in the way, right? Uh, one thing you can do with the sails is have them underneath your ship. I have the AI controlling the sails right now, which, to be frank, it's not that useful. It's nice to have spin blocks with sails, but the AI really doesn't 
use them very well because a big thing is you can't use turrets, right? And it also does this where it just reefs in the sails just randomly so that you don't have any more speed, right? If we just turn it off, we won't have that problem. So we're just going to uh, deactivate that, I guess. Turn it off. There you go. It's just going to be full sail so it gets the most speed all the time. It is tilting over, though. Uh, did I deactivate the... Uh, I guess I have to add that maneuver back in. Uh, oh. No, I did this wrong. Additional. That's what I was trying to get rid of. The sailing. If you get rid of sailing. So the sailing AI is good so that your, your sail ship doesn't capsize. But you can do things that prevent it from capsizing anyways. Like on this, it's got uh, roll. Pitch and roll on the front here. Kind of like fish fins. If that makes any sense. It's got some more yawing on the front and the back. And it's got some lift. Basically, this has no hydrofoils at all. It just kind of cruises along like this. This isn't even the best design. This was just, I slapped this together in like 10 minutes. Put some lasers on it and kind of just to try it out. If I make this in invincible, just want to show how lasers, you really should have battery power on lasers. As you see, I'm doing several K of damage. I have plenty of engine power uh, to spare. And this thing is... So, I need to fix something here. One second. Broadside adjustments maneuvers. Use pitch controls. We will don't really want 15. We want like 7, 6, maybe. We'll just go with 6. There we go. And now we're kind of... We're just flying along. As you notice... The less you're in the water, the faster the sail ship goes. So air sail ships are the fastest. Next are hydrofoiling uh, sailboats, like this one. Oof. I would have been dead there. But these are the same, uh, close to the same material cost, right? Uh, Marauders, 4,000, this is 4,000 as well. So this boat's pretty useful as it, as it is, unless you're going against large cram shells, which is most of the Dawn Waters Guard, or Deep Waters Guard. I don't know why I always call it Dawn Waters. <laughs> Makes no sense. But yeah, we're doing a bunch of damage. We've already done 100, almost 200k damage. Uh, and it's only like a 4k vessel. I mean, most of the resources are in the engines and such, and the AI is kind of here. This thing would die really quickly in an actual battle if it wasn't invincible, but eh. the destabilizers kind of help too. But yeah, it's kind of a good thing to note. You don't need an engine, like a big engine necessarily. You can just have a lot of uh, battery power. Uh, you could make it smaller. And also where you locate the batteries kind of counts too, because you want it kind of low, so the center of gravity is nice and low. Let's go on to some other sails. Sailboats. Uh, let's load a different vehicle. Let's do this. Whoops. We're up in the sky. And we're going to load a vehicle. Okay. Uh, Lipton is the one. I like this one. Yeah, there we go. Spawn it in. This thing is a frontsider slash broadsider, if that makes any sense. It's pretty nice. Oh, it also has mortars. <laughs> this thing's basically just guns. Entirely just guns. Um, this does not have a very large engine. I think it has a steam engine in it in the back. And you can tell it takes a fairly good beating. Um, for a little while, at least. 
Uh, what's the cost of this thing? Yeah, this thing's under 4k. It can't quite take on a Marauder by itself. Its lasers are definitely not very powerful. Uh, let's see. Eh, no, they, they do pretty good damage. They just have to be really close. This thing motors along, as you notice, really fast. It has these angular uh, sails. They can get destroyed pretty good. Another little tip for making sailcraft, you want to use a lot of sail winches. If you don't like the look of them, you can always go and decorate them with whatever. You can just do like blocks, boom, and you can hide original mesh, right? You could do whatever to hide them, the, the sail winches, if you don't like the appearance of them. But I suggest using them because with normal sails, if the little, like you need at least one sail attachment point before you go to the, uh, like the sail block, the sail block's there, you need one sail attachment part, and then the rest is sail winches. So if you get hit by something like here, it takes out that one sail winch, you still have these three left, you don't just lose your entire sails and are dead in the water. It doesn't really cost much more. If you go into water, you look at your uh, sail main block, or sorry, your, your sail winch, it's only 1.5, so it's, you know, only half like one and a half times more expensive than the sail attachment, it's worth it to use them. Your sailboats are going to be a lot more durable if you do that. Um, yeah. So this thing, I think, might actually have some flotation in it. I'm not sure. Uh, do Does it have air pumps? Is it P? Yeah, there we go. Exploded view. I don't think I have any sail pumps in this. Nah. So this thing's entirely controlled by the rudder stuff on the back here. These are these have a little bit of lift force actually. Uh yeah. You can notice that they have to be adjusted because of which side they are on. Because I use the exact same uh, spin block for all of these, or turret block, whatever, for every single one of these. Uh, and this thing can just fly basically into a direct headwind. I think it is right now. And it's still, it's doing like half its max speed. Um, it's mostly because of the orientation of the sails. So, there's that. Uh, there's another ship. Let me spawn in that uh, I actually really like. I had it finished at one point, and it was a really quick airship. It did like 40 uh, kilometers per second, more or less, and pretty consistently, too. Uh, let's see, loading in. I think it's actually in just sail only. So let's go to here. Sail, oops. sail only. Yeah, Vipress. So this... I spent a lot of time on this, but then I accidentally deleted it, destroyed it, after I had finished it. It's a blimp, like an airship, a sail airship. Uh, and... Hey, come back here. I want to warp to you. Warp. There we go. Okay. Anyways, let's just pause this real quick. F11. There we go. So this thing actually goes really fast. Right now it's doing weird stuff. Here's another problem with the sail AI. If you have dorsal and ventral uh, sails, the, the ventral sail down here is going to turn the wrong direction. You can't fix this. Right? It, it's, it's pointing in the completely wrong direction. And you can't do anything about it. Uh, so this one... Uh, ship angle control spinner angle control we want it at zero uh, yeah rotate at speed to turn by rate controller which is kind of fun spin rate controller that's usable for spin blocks uh, especially if you're using spin blocks to direct things it gives it more power it means it turns faster let's unpause this for a little bit uh, yep. Oh, I'm in there. Okay. We'll go like this. Like that. Okay. 
Okay, all that stuff's not working. Uh, this thing used to go really, really fast. But it doesn't have the sails in the right position. But if you look at this, they kind of converge like this. You can see how they kind of converge on the spin block. This is probably the best way to set up sails on a ship. Just because when you set it up this way, even if you're going into a headwind, you're still getting extra thrust from these angled ones. And it will only it, it will only point in the direction that's like the most efficient. You do have to set things on it, say it set the sail winches so that they don't uh, they're not always on. And also these are the kind of the weak ones, right? It's just sail attachments, uh, sail winch. So these sails get knocked out pretty quick. Not very durable. Yeah, I had this thing built really well at one point, and it was not too expensive, to be honest. But it was, it had a bunch of missiles and stuff. This is crazy, the absolutely insane broadside. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the Tetris scene on this is, well, not really Tetris. It's just ridiculous. Let's go in here. Control B. Sorry. P. There we go. So. Uh, yeah. They are not super strong, but <laughs> they pack a bit of a punch. Right? 4K damage. And there's they're all controlled by these all-in-one local weapon controllers. And this thing switches between two different AIs. Or I had it set up that way. It's from a broadside to a point at. Uh, it's kind of what I like to do with my airships, especially if they have a broadside. And it would switch between left and right all the time. Actually, no, it had three AI. So it had point at, circle, left, and right. So it would just use either side and just cycle through it by the reload speeds of the different weapons. But, because I didn't save it, uh, I have all this mess. <laughs> it doesn't look good, and it's definitely not durable at all. I mean, it wasn't really durable when it was finished, but it is what it is. Uh, Alright, let's just destroy all vehicles. Let's go through some more airships. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of... The sail only has a bunch of non-completed uh, airships. Like this one. This one's fun. This one's actually really fast. As you can tell. It 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 flies a kit. Clip. Oh control. Let's throw a chair on here so I can actually There we go. There we go. So this thing goes pretty fast. But that's because it has all these sails, right? And I'm using these blocks, let's see, the truss blocks, because they have fairly decent drag on all directions. At attributes, they are not durable, so these things get shot off uh, by basically any big explosion, that has half of these disappear, <laughs> which isn't the greatest. Uh, this was mostly supposed to be a decorative build. Um, yeah, and I never finished it. Of course, you can tell I haven't finished it yet. So, it flies though. And it turns pretty good. Its turning system is steam jets, which is fun. And it's got the worst weapons in the world, which is a bunch of these on a spin block. Just a bunch of cram cannons. Yeah, they're all attached to those. And do they even have... I guess they do have shells. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's mostly decorative. It was fun building that. Uh, let's... Yep, get rid of that. Load a vehicle. The, Ar the Artemian Condor just doesn't look right and doesn't fly right at all. So we're not just going to skip that one. Okay. we already Did we already do the lift-in? Yes, we did. Uh... Delete vehicles. Let's just go down the Trident Bore. Yep, here's another ship. 
this one, as you can tell, has a similar system. It's got the, uh, what's it called? Rudders on the bottoms. It's got a big rudder on the back too. And it's got three sails. This thing goes pretty fast. It has a bunch of particle cannons in it. Yeah, it's about 5k. It has a lot of particle cannons. It's like a broadside particle can cannon. They're all short range lenses. Uh, yep. Yeah. They, they have fairly decent power. I think I do have some of these are explosive, some of these are impact. Yeah, this is impact, which does. What does it say? The, this is explosive. Energy per shot, energy per second, fire per 1.5. Both of them say 1.5, but. If I remember correctly, particle cannons do more impact. It. Yeah, impact equivalent per shot, 12. And particle cannon, uh, explosive shock. There it is, damage per shot, 5k compared to, I think it's 12, 12k. Yeah. So, big, huge difference. Uh, these are one shot. They're actually fairly small, if I remember correctly. Oh, these ones are pretty big. But these these ones right here are pretty small. And I could do 12k damage, which is pretty impressive. Uh, if they hit, <laughs> they don't have any focusing, 10% focusing. Uh, explosive shock, yeah. and then a huge charge time. Having a huge tar charge time and reducing the focus helps increase the damage and make them more efficient. So that's why I made them that way. Uh, this has some fuel engines in it, I believe. I don't know if I put a lot. Uh, there is an RTG in here. Yep. And some battery pa power backup. Oh, it's not a fuel engine. It's a uh, steam engine. Yep. Generating electricity and power. Alright. Yep. That's the tri-bar. It's not particularly durable. It's pretty fast. It packs a bit of a punch. Uh, and it's just kind of fun because it just flies along the top of the water like this. <laughs> it has some problems, but... Oh well. Uh, let's load a different vehicle. Destroy that one. Uh, what's another fun? <laughs> the trident. Sets of three. <laughs> this thing, I like this one. It takes a while for it to uh, go and land properly. Uh, yeah, this is one of the first ones I made with the bottom sails. You can see this thing just cruises along like this. Uh, it doesn't have any pitch control, I don't think. Or roll control. So it takes a while for it to stabilize. <laughs> there we go. It's got some lift on the front, and it's got pitch control on the back. But once it stabilizes, it goes at a decent speed. I don't know how much damage these do. Uh, yeah. There it is. Decent damage. Not the greatest, but decent. It's kind of fun looking. It does flop a lot. Alright. Let's load a new vehicle. The Woo! <laughs> the Woo! <laughs> How much does the Woo cost? 36k? Pretty sure this is like a glass cannon, if I remember. <laughs> it's just got a bunch of sails. <laughs> uh, what's the damage on these? Okay, can I, can I see the damage? Yeah, it does pretty good damage. <laughs> uh. And pretty cheap. 
but it's also not maneuverable, really. I like this guy. How much does it cost? Oh, it's about the same price. I think I built this after the wave. Probably makes sense. Load a new vehicle. Uh, here's one of my favorite ones I've built. This is the Flying Sunfish. And yes, it has a bunch of thrusters and things to keep it airborne. This thing does not stay in the sky very easily. <coughs> Excuse me. I did have a cough. So the Flying Sunfish has a minnow on it. I think I've done a video about it. There's the minnow. Uh, it, it packs a pretty good punch. It's got this giant barrage of cram cannons. And that's the total cost with the minnow and everything. So this thing... <laughs> these things are pretty deadly for their size. They do fall out of the sky. They use air pumps. And yes, it does have internal sails. But it uses air pumps to keep it aloft. Or help keep it aloft. Like, this thing's barely in the sky. <laughs> and so if you lose enough things, it just drops out of the sky. But it also is using these sails, which are kind of pointless on the wings here. Because you basically can't, like, they don't do anything. Uh, they better, it'd be better with a sail on top and bottom. But that's the way I built it. Uh, and also, it'd be less likely to get shot, because these things will shoot these wings off. As I found out when I was testing it against things. Uh, let's, uh, let's load a new vehicle. Yeah. So, that's another thing I built. Airships are fun. Uh, it's better to have some sort of powered lift, though, than to use, like, with propellers, than to use buoyancy. Buoyancy is a good backup kind of thing to reduce the amount of cost to your airship for, to keep it aloft. Because its running cost, uh, which is, like, its upkeep when it's not in battle, is a lot more important for your ships than the uh than the like <laughs> than the like cost during battle <laughs> took me a while to figure that out yeah uh let's load another vehicle what else do we got uh the minnow we already did to artemis which i haven't completed this is a fun airship uh it's freaking huge <laughs> it's pretty slow <laughs> But it has massive rail rail guns on it, so and it's decorative and it's fun. It does have sails, and that's how it goes forward. Again, these darn horizontal ones that do basically nothing are kind of annoying, but they look cool. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a bunch of these apparently on this ship, but they look cool. They got these massive ones on the back. It has a huge rudder uh, propeller. And it does some lift. It actually doesn't use a lot of fuel considering how much uh, stuff it uses. I mean, once the rain shields kick on, they guzzle fuel like no tomorrow. Yep. It also has a broadside. It, this thing's pretty powerful. Like, it's main rail guns uh yeah let's see i think if i could find it on the artemis yeah armor piercing so they do they actually shoot pretty fast actually uh but they have some frag in them which do a bunch of damage yeah, <laughs> 13k damage. Which is very decent. It goes through probably like four blocks. Basically just punches holes through things. And then it, the freight explodes. So it goes into a ship and it then explodes. Uh, the cost of it so far is that much. So it's pretty expensive. It has to go up against crossbones and things. Which it doesn't really compete with, to be honest has that weird AI again where it broadsides and it like it circles and points at because uh, these cram cannons are again 
Uh, well, these ones shoot faster. They have a fairly decent reload time. So this thing kind of zigzags back and forth when it fights things. And it does have ballast in it in places. Not quite enough ballast, but it's pretty fun. Actually, it doesn't have RTGs in it, I don't think. I think it's fuel engines and battery power. There's a battery pack, some battery power. And I think there's some more on the back somewhere. There's ammo storage. Yeah, there's some more battery power. I don't, oh yeah, the fuel engine's in the middle, right. And this thing's supposed to be designed to turn off the fuel engines during battle so it doesn't have a heat signature. So it only uses the fuel engines during, uh, during like, out of combat. I mean, it doesn't work very well because it's hard to program that. Because for some reason, electric engines are just used all the time, basically, and then the fuel engine will just kick on all the time for some reason. <laughs> I don't get it. I, I don't know how to make it do anything different. Eh. But yeah, I like the Artemis. The Artemis is cool looking. Uh, let's load another vehicle. Uh, oh, the airship D&D. &D. <laughs> I made this for a D&D &D thing, just for the decoration. But this is actually the most sail complex uh, ship I have. Uh, let's warp to that, and then we can do this. So, it doesn't really have a lot. It has messed up cannons. So it has some broadside. It does take out its own sails. <laughs> So there's a problem with it, but the AA, AI on this, let's see, it's a nice sample of all the different AIs you can have. So it has an AI breadboard, uh, which yeah, it just simple switches back and forth, circle at distance and broadside. Oh, what the? Why did it explode? Why did you explode? What did, what the? Let me repair this, because I don't know why it exploded, but it did. Here I am looking at the AI and it just, boom, it explodes. Can't be repaired yet. Okay. That was really random and was not very fun. Okay. So, let's look at this. Sail position. Yeah. So, these all have the different, you see forward, back, pitch up, pitch down. Because if you go to the build thing, you can see where all the green lines are, right? And so, <laughs> you can see this thing flies depending on the direction of things. And it helps pitch itself to using just sails. Right? All the pitch is controlled with just sails. And the roll. <laughs> As you notice. And it's got this giant sail on the back. And then some rudders for yaw. The, the, the sail. Can't control the yaw very well with sails. I tried. Uh, you've run into the problem where as you can see the red lines. You have to account for... The, like your bearing at all times if you want to control uh, your turn and it's really hard to figure out which way goes which <laughs> so yeah this is this little airship and it, this thing's dirt cheap right 7k materials for this little thing it it's I love it it's a little derpy it's cute looking but I love this little thing yeah so this one has all the different controls. Where's the AI again? AI is in here. If I look at the AI, adjustments, maneuvering, additional. Oh, it's only got sail 2.0 active. Uh, I believe that's on a spin block, yeah. Yeah, there's two spin blocks. I turned off the spin blocks because they, they're the sailing 1.0. You can activate Sailing 1.0, but the Sailing 2.0 was better on this, I think. Oh yeah, because these are on spin blocks too. Yeah, that's right. These would spin too. 
and then they spin in opposite directions depending on which side they are. And also the bottom and the top, the ventral one would spin, which causes it to roll. And you have no roll control if you have these uh, spinning towards your, like spinning in the direction of your ship, wherever it's going. Yeah, I love this little ship. Dirt cheap. It's adorable. It'll fight things. It'll fall out of the sky. It'll destroy itself. But it's it's fun. It doesn't need any power. It just needs some some ammo, and it can just go around and shoot everything. I think it has one ammo box, <laughs> and it can actually it packs a punch for how cheap it is. <laughs> yep, I like it. I like this little ship. I love that one. There we go. Uh, let's load a new vehicle. <laughs> Here's a not complete one, the hot dog. <laughs> it's supposed to have a... <laughs> a really weird cannon system. Uh, yeah. That's that's about it. It's an airship. It's got giant buoyancy. That's done. Uh, okay. So we go through the woo? So find some fish, the minnow, yep. Uh, we're gonna we're getting into some of the old stuff I've built, like the little chub. This is an airship. This thing is freaking resource hungry. Uh, but all of its sails are internal. They're basically all block sails and some other sails in the back here. I think it has sails 1.0 or something like that for its AI. It's got some turrets on it. This thing's so weird. It barely flies. It's like a lot of my early designs. Barely flies. Uh, yep. Let's load a different vehicle. That thing's probably the most durable airship I have, to be honest. Oh, let's, let's do the puffin. The puffin's cute. This is supposed to be an airplane? And, I mean, it, it flies, kind of. <laughs> All of it's, it's got a bunch of little sails, if you notice, in each side here. It's got three of them. And it's got a couple of little weapons. Oh, are we running into things? Yep. So this thing flies. It's got lift, it flies. I don't even think it has any buoyancy, to be honest. No, it does have buoyancy. It does have a healing pump. Right. That's just for its pitch control. Oh, well, it's technically an airship, but it's cute. It doesn't go very fast, but it flies. I have a, a sail-only uh, plane somewhere. Is it a sailfish? Oh, it's not a sailfish. Sailfish I'm still was still working on. Oh, there's the fly sail. There we go. <laughs> Slow. Again, I did the same mistake with the sails. So this thing, this thing flies. It has no buoyancy, but it flies, and it has weapons. It doesn't fly very fast, <laughs> but it does in fact fly, and it can maintain its altitude for the most part. Uh, this is just a proof of concept, really. And now that I know that my designs got so many things wrong with it. I could definitely design a better airplane, uh, sail the airplane. Basically, you just make a giant ventral uh, and 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 dorsal sail on these things, like one here, one here, uh, and then it'll go really fast. And you put a couple of wings on it, and go zoom, it just zooms about. <laughs> but yeah, this thing's goofy. It it's so slow, but it's so tiny. It's got it's, it costs five k. <laughs> It's goofy. It's real goofy. This is the goofiest thing. Yeah. I really want to make a better uh, sailplane at some point. Oh, the bumble. <laughs> this is one of my very early sail designs. You're going to notice something straight away. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> But yeah, 
Bumbles are, well, super slow. Look at it. Two, two meters per second. It's got, it's got great firepower, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but the thing's huge and goes nowhere. And it looks nice. I think that was mostly because I wanted to look nice more than anything. <laughs> I think this is one of the few things that, like, I think I started the sales only campaign, and this is one of the ships I used, and boy was it bad. <laughs> There's an interior everywhere. It's got random shields. It's got this. This is makes it actually really durable. Weirdly, I don't know how, but fairly durable. There's ammo boxes in there. <laughs> There's some resources, some extra power, some repair bots, massive steam engines. I'm not used to making steam engines. <laughs> this little dancing guy. I forgot about this. I put a lot of time in this, an effort making this thing. It really is mostly just open space. Yeah. <laughs> it has a bunch of volume. It takes up a lot of volume. Volume assets. It's got a bridge. It looks really nice. It's not very effective, but it looks really nice. Uh, let's load a different ship. Load a vehicle. Uh, oh yeah, here's some of my older designs too. There's this this thing, this airship. Uh, you can tell it has the sail one AI by the fact that these the the wings will flop around occasionally. I think. Yeah. This thing just. Yeah, you notice it's got a bunch of balloons so it can fly. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. I've gotten much better at designing things. The big missile fly flying blimp. <laughs> yep. Uh, there's another design. Uh, look at how well it works, guys. It, it works so good. Look at it go. It, it works so good. I don't think this one is completed. <laughs> let's load another vehicle. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's let's get some of these other ones. The big sail ships. The monitor. This one's interesting. It's slow. Oh, I dropped it on the other ship. Whoopsies. Yeah, I think it's actually faster than the Bumble. It's not completed. But again, it's, it's it basically doesn't have any, any guns. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely got better at designing ships that are useful. But this thing's huge. It's got so much power for no reason. And it's like the tiniest little particle cannons. <laughs> right? Just these tiny little particle cannons. And that's what I used used all that power for. Tiny little particle cannons. Why? I don't know. Like, I'm much better at designing ships that actually use the resources that I give them. Blimp sail is my... Oops. There's a blimp sail one. Uh, where did it go? Oh, is it this one? That's a flying sunfish. Nope. Blimp sail. This one? Blimp yeah, blimp. let's teleport to that one. This one's actually kind of fun. It's got the little deck. Again, not very durable. Freaking huge. So if I remember correctly, there's just a bunch of buoyancy everywhere. Big open spaces, put some buoyancy in it. I think this was built before the APS, yeah, before the a APS update. And you can tell that ventral and dorsal thing. Yep. Oh, this one also has a little, a little booster on it to keep it up the speed. I remember. Yeah, that one's not valid for the sales only neater. 
Yeah, it flies, sorta. It does weird stuff like this. Yeah, it's... That's an old design. Very old. Very, very old. Yep. And I think that's about all the, the ships I've designed so far. I've been working on it. I, As you can tell, it's definitely improved over time. My designs. Is that the, tri tr the trident? Yeah. Listening. Teleport the trident. There we go. Yeah, the trident's a lot better than some of these other ones. It does use lasers. Lasers are fun. They can be nice and compact, and you can have turrets. So, they're nice. But yeah, I've learned a lot designing all these ships. There's big things I learned is that you don't want flat sails ever. <laughs> flat sails are pointless. Unless, of course, you have your ship flying at a weird angle. Then you can use flat sails. Like, if you have it with basically howitzers on the top of it, and you have those guns being what's used, then it would fly, like, on its side. In, like, a V-shape, maybe. You could do that. Uh, but that would be really weird. For airplanes, because they, they tend to pitch, it's actually good to just have sails in all directions. So just, like, a not big T-shape. Uh, if I go to build a uh, new object vehicle what I mean by that is you just take like you have your things there and you'd have oops yeah basically like this so you don't lose speed even when you roll to pitch towards things you still get speed. So airplanes can get away with having the horizontal ones. But that's just because they roll into things. Yep. That's all of my knowledge about airships. I sail craft of different kinds. <laughs> yep. It's... There's a lot going on. <laughs> Yeah, I think the fastest I've ever gotten is like a 40 meter per second. And that's just having a whack ton of sails on it. I think I showed that one, right? Alright. Anyways, I hope this gives you guys some ideas for where your sail craft. Uh, oh, did I go look at the monitor? Yeah, the monitor's there. Actually, there's another vehicle that's not the monitor. Uh, that's the monitor one, but there was another one. Blimp sail monitor. Oh, I got two monitors. Oh, so this one. Oh, that's the completed one. Right. Okay. Meh. Receiving. Let's jump to that one. There we go. Oh, that's the incomplete one. Not that one. There we go, warp. Yep. That's the completed one. As you can tell, it's not particularly fast. <laughs> and it has no roll control, so that's always fun. I could have sworn I had one that had the weird sails on it. Sail blimp. The resource supply one is just a simple, like a massive, that's actually really massive to be honest. Uh, little chub, I already have that one out. The Lord, that's it. This one. This, this ship. It's pretty slow. But, I took this weird inspiration from one of the, uh, I feel like this. The on Onyx watch by putting sails on like this. Um, you actually fit a lot of sails in that way. And because they're designed that way, you, you notice the red lines? They're always in the center with these big, big square sails. So 
setting up your sails like this is actually pretty useful. Although you probably do want to give an AI to these. Probably use sail 2.0 so that it'll haul the sails in when you're in tracking into the wind. But yeah, they're pretty nice. You can get... it. It's pretty nice. This thing's actually pretty fast for how heavy it is, but I guess we're going with the wind. And for some reason, in the campaign, everything is into the wind. Because you start in the bottom left corner in most cases. So using sailboats is redonkulous. I think in, in some different settings, like difficulty settings, you actually spawn in different places. In those cases, sailboats would be useful because the wind goes, like, from the north east into the southwest direction right so sailboats if you start off on that side of the map actually makes sense but when it comes to the normal campaign like just the normal one where you start off in the bottom left corner of the map you are always sailing into the wind to expand so <laughs> it's really a pain and so sail sailboats actually have like no purpose because you're they're always really slow basically as you can see it's only going six six meters per second now because it's hauled in some of its some of the thing or some of its sails for some reason yeah i don't like the sail ai either it hauls it in when you're going straight into the wind which makes no sense no sense at all like it you'd actually be getting more thrust right here if you had those sails going it meh and these ones should be hauled in. I, I don't know. Oh yeah, this thing has a massive cannon too, doesn't it? Or Yep. Massive cannon, has some flares. Has some other stuff too. What's the cost on this thing? Oh, that's pretty big. Yep. Big cannon. But, again, there's not really any space for sails, so this thing's really slow. Right? And I think these, are the, yeah, these are the old cram cans, aren't they? Uh, nope. No. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I think this one also has decorations blocks. Yeah. Or, yeah, those are two by two slopes, which you can't actually have. <laughs> actually, they might be even three by three slopes. Eh. Something like that. It's pretty fun, though. Yeah, it's got some sonar decoys. Yeah, this is a weird ship. My designs and ships have been are so weird. <laughs> They've gotten a lot better, but man, did they start out really redonkulous? Like. I don't even know what I've designed here. <laughs> it's not very durable, I know that. It also doesn't, it does not have very good firepower. Total 21. Uh, let's just go over to, which ship? This is 56, 62. Let's go over to the trimaran and see what the, its firepower is. Build on this thing. Yeah. Alright. Firepower is pretty high. <laughs> and I think even like my... Or is that a really cheap ship of mine? It should be sailing right here somewhere. It may have gotten killed by running into something. Airships. Okay. Wow. This is... Listening. Listening. Nope, I'm just gonna load it. The D D one. It's up here somewhere. Airship D D. Load. Yeah. Oh the fire pressure's pretty low. Huh. Yeah, I guess cause it only cycles like really slowly. 
Oh well. Yeah, those laser ships. Lasers are actually really good to use on sailboats because you're going to have a much more condensed ship. Uh, crams tend to take up a lot of space. In order for them to be powerful, you need a lot of them in a the broadside. And it's a bit goofy. And they're kind of heavy. Right? Yeah. Like, these are heavy. This is light, but the rest of everything is fairly heavy. Right? Gauge blocks help with flotation. I mean, it is cheap, but lasers, lasers are all buoyant. Right? So you can make your ship a lot fast, your sail ship a lot faster. It's going to be a lot more expensive, but it's going to be a lot faster. Anyways, that was all of my ships. Whoa. There we go. Hope you guys enjoyed. This storm's out. Adios.